Hello there, this is Hans Forschner with Navcon Engineering. This is a short introduction in insoles, composite and outdoor to indoor calculation. For a lot of situations we have conditions where it's not just one wall uh, path that needs to be considered. It could be a composition of materials that define the propagation from a hallway into a room. Like here we can see an example of a wall, so that's the yellow area, a uh, kind of like a ups, you know, window at the top and a door. So we have different surface areas, so 400 square foot for the wall, 25 square foot for the door and another 30 square foot for the glazing above the door. So we go back, so here's the wall with an SDC of 50 decibels. It's uh, assembled with a panel 1, a frame 1 and panel 2, so it's a double frame construction. So here's the layer 1, panel 1, so that's a gypsum board. I apply that to the outside, to panel 2. And then I'll go to the composite transmission loss calculator. You left click on that and open with data. That means the data will be automatically transferred into the calculator. We assign the surface area, so elements area 400 square feet, and we define the name for that element. So at this point we see here on the right hand side the graphic with the SDC of that element, and we go back and return back to insole. Now second part is the glazing. I'll select the glazing with just uh, a laminate glass. So this has an SDC of 33 decibels. And I add this to the composite TL calculation. Add that with the data. Assign the surface area. So here we have 20 square feet. Here we have again the definition of the element. So here this is the glazing element. And now on the STC side it drops from 50 dB to 44 dB. With this toggle switch we can turn on and see the actual um, yeah, kind of like composite calculation. So each TL, the STC for the wall and the STC for the glazing are ratioed based on the total surface area and the contribution for each element, which brings of course down the STC of the wall, which is the yellow line, and the green line is the composite, and the blue line is the glazing. Down here at the low frequency, the wall is the dominant path. And then, of course, at the higher frequencies, the glazing will kind of like lower the overall transmission loss of the composite wall. Now, the last thing is we want to add the door. And for the door, I want to use some test data. So I highlight that here in the Excel spreadsheet, so from 50 to 5 kilohertz. I copy the data in the clipboard, so control C. And then we go over to the composite calculation and we add or insert that element and paste the element, and here you have to be careful 
uh, so here again the element name and then you use the paste option right here in the top right corner and paste it into this table so now the composite TL now dropped to 36 decibels so we can look at that in the detail here again the yellow is the wall the blue is the glazing and the red is the door and then of course here you can see that the door significantly reduces the composite TL just because uh, yeah it's fairly yeah, relatively weak uh, has a coincidence frequency here at uh, let's see that's 2000 Hertz and that brings down the overall composite transmission loss So we can save this and save it with a name. So if you want to recall this and modify that, modify the elements or modify surface area or have to add additional elements, you can do that. Uh, you can play around, uh, for example, with different surface areas. How does it change the transmission loss or the composite transmission loss? So if you uh, change anything in terms of the surface areas, you need to hit this calculate or this play button here at the top left to make sure that it's uh, uh, recalculating the composite TL. So here I put it back to 50 square foot and recalculate. So you enter and then hit the calculate. Alright, let me save this and now we close this out and I want to discuss, go back to the wall, the double wall and at this point I want to continue with the outdoor to indoor calculation. Maybe make some changes, I'll use a stucco panel on the outside. So at this point we have an STC of 59 decibels and so in this case we have uh, for example a hotel room that is exposed to several surface area on the outside and that could be different facades it could be the roof so we could have uh, within each facade you can have different elements like windows like doors and so the idea is that we can calculate not just the uh, composite transmission loss, but um, just different paths from the outside into the room. Now we have a total of eight paths, so we have to be a little bit selective in terms of the definition or um, yeah, kind of specification of the exterior noise level and um, the transmission loss for each of these surface areas that we have here. So again, <coughs> it's up to the user to decide how to define the different paths. Again, the facades, one and two, the different elements like windows, doors, walls, the roof. So let's go back into the install software. So here we have, uh, for example, a wall element for one of the facades. We click on the outdoor to indoor calculation. And we can first of all set up some of the defaults or the settings. So we uh, want to make sure that this is done in third octaves. So you have the choice between octaves and third octaves. And you have different criteria that could be just a DBA, uh, a weighted sound pressure level inside, noise criteria, or noise rating. 
So we'll set it up. We close it. And now we have all the third octave data. At this point, we give this a title. So this is a hotel room. And in the corner of a building. And we uh, select uh, one of the standard sources. Again, here you could copy and paste your measurement data and give it a name. Or you can select from standard spectral uh, shapes for traffic uh, based on ISO 717 or some other ANSI standards for human voice or aircrafts and so on. We can uh, select the shape and define the overall level in this case was 72 decibels we apply that and we have our exterior sound level so at this point we uh, define the path of the first element we describe it as facade one we give it a surface area and we uh, collect and get the transmission loss from Insole. So this is the calculation that we currently are working on in Insole. And you can kind of like see the uh, red dotted uh, line. And this is the contribution that we get for this facade. We can define the volume of this room with the reverberation time. In this case, default is uh, 0.5 seconds and the um, conversion uh, applies the uh, correction for the vol room volume, the correction for the reverberation time, and we're getting an element uh, contribution. Now we select our second facade. In this case, this could be uh, perpendicular to uh, the road we can apply different corrections. Um, so it applies a certain correction to the uh, noise level. So in this case, uh, we'll probably select something where we are getting a 3 dB correction. So that could be the side of the, the building. So it applies a 3 dB correction here. We define a surface area, so the path through that second facade. So again, this applies an area correction. The reverberation time, all of that stays the same. So now we have two, pa two paths, facade one and facade two. And then next one could be, uh, for example, window in facade two. We can go and collect uh, the data for a window with one inch uh, spacing, quarter inch glazing pa like paints, go back, get that, assign a certain surface area for the windows, 200 square feet. And so now we have uh, three, three paths. Uh, again, we can assign the correction for the um, side of the hotel room facade. So the three decibels. All right. And now we have uh, three paths, facade one, facade two, window two. And you can take a look at each of the contribution. Facade four. Again, there's another window. Maybe 50 square foot. That's window in the facade number one. All right. So here in this, uh, we use the plain facade, so no correction. And of course, there you can kind of like now get an idea of the contribution for each of these uh, paths and what the total room sound level is. That's the 44.3, and um, right here, and then the element two.
All right, so here we can see all the different elements and see each of the contribution. We can now save again the outdoor to indoor calculation. So this is again hotel room outdoor to indoor. And this is with a 72 dB traffic noise level outside. And we can change that. We can change the overall level and then see, or we can also do that for male voice. And again, with each of those changes, um, then it will apply uh, the corrections. Now here in the graphics, uh, we see there's, um, it hasn't been updated. So it updated the overall. So you actually have to click on the uh, element one, two, three, four. So you click on calculate and then just uh, select number one, two, and three. And then as you click on that, it will update those uh, graphics. So then the uh, graphic in the top right corner is updated. So of course, in this case, it's the higher frequencies that are of interest for male voice uh, because uh, yeah, the source is not producing anything at low frequencies. All right, so here we can um, save that. And again, this is in this case, uh, male voice. And uh, so what kind of levels can you expect uh, for that? Thanks for listening and have a